The FBI's Hazardous Devices School here in Huntsville certifies thousands of first responders, making them top public safety bomb technicians. Fox News Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Herridge has an exclusive look at the only bomb training facility in the U.S., and it's right here in the Tennessee Valley. From car bombs to high-risk hostage oh, rescues okay, go move, go move. and operating robots, the demand for highly skilled bomb techs has never been greater. There's remote control bombs, there's command bombs, there's victim initiated bombs. All of that we have to practice and train on here because we don't know what we're going to encounter. John Stewart is the director of the FBI's Hazardous Devices School in Huntsville, Alabama. Well, right now there's about 2,900 that protect us uh, across America and they all come here for their initial training. What does it take to be a bomb tech? It takes a drive, a desire to want to help people. You have to have some mechanical skills. You have to be able to get thoughts from your brain to your hands. Our Fox News saw firsthand how bomb techs learned to handle the shock waves and how to operate under extreme conditions and pressure. We take them from a police officer or firefighter with no background to a position where they can successfully navigate their way through an ID call. Bomb techs embedded with SWAT teams after the Sarnayev brothers used pressure cooker bombs at the 2013 Boston Marathon. And a terrorist couple used guns and homemade bombs to kill in San Bernardino, California, two years later. Fox News went inside the training. This is uh, sort of a top tier threat, a category A. You've got a hostage and um, a, a live device, and then something called uh, a dead man's switch. If uh, the hostage takes their thumb off uh, the red button, it detonates. Removing a hostage device is obviously the, the riskiest procedures because all of the the procedures that we do are manual and hands-on, and having bomb techs integrated with tactical teams just seems to make sense to address the emerging threat. Fox cameras stop rolling to protect methods. The training is driven by foreign and domestic intelligence. We look at that threat stream, uh, what types of explosives are being used in IEDs. That all comes to us, and then we try to assess whether our current procedures and technology can address that threat. The average person is thinking, how do they put on a suit and walk down range? The number one goal that HDS teaches us is that go remote, stay remote. There are going to be time frames that that just doesn't happen. Bomb techs visit the memorial wall. One plaque is blank. And our goal is to ensure that that plaque stays empty, that we don't have another name on that. In Huntsville, Alabama, Katherine Herridge, Fox News.